Let's join Wade on his first hunt with the new Thompson Center Compass 2 rifle as he sets up in a muddy blind overlooking a pond. We're back here for the hog frog pond because there's so many frogs here. Last time we sat in here, I mean, the frogs were croaking like crazy in the evening. We were watching herons eat snakes. I mean, it's just a very live area and we saw quite a few deer. Um, we just, you know, chose not to shoot one that night. That night might be a little different story. It's, it's still pretty early, it's just after 5 o'clock and uh, you know we need the shadows to keep getting longer and longer. And last time we were here, I don't know man, it was like the last 25 minutes, deer just started pouring out, now most of them were young deer. And uh, so we just kind of thought, boy, any minute the right one was going to show up, but as the sun set that day, he didn't. Hopefully today something will come out uh, that will get us pretty excited and we'll um, put the crosshairs on him. Compass does it again. How cool is that? We have sat here quite some time and we've seen quite a few really cool deer coming through here this little pond. And I mean, every time we've sat here, we've seen a lot of really good deer, you know, young deer getting around, moving around, doing all kinds of different things. We've, I mean, this has been one of the coolest spots to sit just because of everything we've seen. But that deer there, he's still in velvet and he's late in the year. It's, it's some kind of stag, um, basically. You know, that can be a, a birth issue. It can be a low testosterone thing. Uh, it's just hard to say, really, what caused that. But that is one of the coolest deer out there. He's just an eight point, but what a beautiful deer out there. I mean, he just come in, come off that hill. There was four other bucks kind of running together, and they just kind of eased all down in there and got right out in front of the scouting camera. We put a record rack uh, block out there, one of those wild berry blocks. And I mean, those deer just absolutely love that. And he got got over there and was eating on it, milling around, and we got him, a TC Compass. This is a generation two one where I was talking about that new trigger. Then take about three or four pounds, bam, smoked him. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> Just a neat, neat story. Got to take him with the second generation compass. Uh, you know, I'm out here hunting. This is this one's. I mean, they're, they're not even available while I'm I'm doing this to the to the public. This will be released. Uh, you know, when you first see this video, a lot of you guys, it will just have been released. And uh, as far as I know, this very well may be one of the first whitetail, if not the first whitetail ever taken with the, the Generation 2 model. So, just a, just a neat trophy. And, and not only that, we're gonna, fill the, we're gonna fill the freezer up with this one. Pan sausage, that's what Miss Angel asked for out of the next beer I get this year. <laughs> Visit tcarms.com for more information on the new Thompson Center Compass 2 rifle.